Each week, Stevens Creek Toyota brings the stories of athletes who have overcome adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. Reporter Jack Washer joins us now to introduce us to the prolific young running back from Silver Creek High. That's right. The Silver Creek Raiders enjoyed their best season in more than a decade, going 10-2. and two. The James family is a big reason for this success, but the success comes from a man no longer with them. When you experience adversity, does it make you shut down or keep fighting? Stay down or get up? For Dante Preston and Pernell James, there was only one answer. Just get back up. Keep going. It's something they learned from their father, Dante Sr., a man who taught them two important lessons on the football field. Just keep moving your legs. Just don't let no one bring you down, man. Like when I get talked about one guy, that kind of makes me bad. So I think my dad, like my dad used to always say, try not to get talked about one person. Dante Jr. carried a big weight on his shoulders. He guided the Silver Creek Raiders to a 10-2 record while rushing for more than 2,000 yards and 17 touchdowns. I get fired up, like that's my brother. And it feels good knowing he did something and like I'm related to him. I can't believe, oh, he just made that run and he's my brother. But Dante isn't just the running back. He's also the role model for his two younger brothers. Three years ago, during Dante's freshman year, their father died from a staph infection, leaving the boys fatherless and without their motivator. It was a drastic change. It was hard for all of us. I didn't know what to do or anything. Like, I didn't know what I wanted to do in life anymore. I wanted to stop playing football because that happened. Like I. Just, my dad was like such a role model in my life. He always gave us confidence and everything. When, but when he passed, like I didn't know, I, I didn't see the purpose in life anymore. Getting back to football wasn't enough for Dante. He knew each time he stepped on the field, he served a purpose bigger than the game. Always had his father in the back of his mind saying, "You got to do this. You know, you got to keep going, keep strong, even if I'm not there. You know, you got your little brothers, you got your sister, your mom. You know, so I'm pretty sure that stuck in his head and made him really determined to be where he's at now." which is here, on the football field with his two younger brothers on the varsity team. Now that they're all on the same team, they're, they're just having fun. So there's no pressure to do anything. It's just go out and have a good time and let's play. It's pretty funny, honestly. We always joke around, just the three of us. And um, <clears throat> uh, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of cool when all of us are in one play. So, you know, I look back. From breaking tackles to laughing on the sidelines, the James brothers are bonded by football, the sport their father taught them to love. Now the Raiders made it to the CCS playoffs but won their first round game and then lost their second round game to Hillsdale. But a great season overall for the team and the James family, especially Dante, a big reason why. Well, it was the best season for Silver Creek since Jason Sinatra was a running back there. Is, the he, is he related to Frank Sinatra? He was the chairman of the board. <laughs> okay. He was. 